bass resonator here. Have these new molds from Into Resin. They're also available on Amazon and, and other places, but I just happened to get them at Into Resin. And they are tea light holders with a heart shape, um, which I think is really kind of cool. I am going to use some crystal dazzlers. These chunky look like ice cubes sort of. Um, don't know how well they're going to show up once resin is all around them, but I'm hoping that they will that the facets on them will shine out. And I have some silicone molds of some other things that I had made molds of and um they were the perfect size to block. So right above the heart, there's going to be the stop. And what I'm going to use is um, resin with, oops, <laughs> show you the backside. <laughs> um, Brie Reese Shimmering Alcohol Ink, the Lake Blue, which is really cool. I don't know how this is all going to react with each other but that's going to be the bottom part then the top part now they form a heart and it's a hollow heart because the the resin comes around and they got tea light holders on the top but what i'm going to do with that top section on both of them is i'm going to use some metal flake really pretty stuff from tropical glitz now this one on the left i'm going to use tulum if you've never been to tulum uh, you want to see uh, Maya ruins and such, you go to Tulum. It's down in the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. And in the other one, I'm going to use one called Sea Breeze, which is a holographic blue. And um, the Tulum is a holographic kind of teal, for lack of a better explanation. I haven't used these yet. They just came in. So Tropical Glitz. This is where I'm trying your stuff. So I'm going to have this blue down here with the ice. And then above it, I'm going to have um, mixed up with uh, this metal flake. And hopefully I can keep it floating. Maybe I'll do uh, Daniel Cooper's trick of using a little bit of glue in there to keep it suspended. Um, anyway, I, I, I'm thinking these are going to really pop with sparklies. And then you add those... I think they'll be a perfect um, uh, centerpiece for um, a little cafe or uh, somebody setting up uh, for an anniversary dinner or something of that sort and have those going with and maybe have a sea vibe because Tulum is right on the coast and sea breeze uh, well that sounds like the sea and then this is Lake Blue so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna mix up my resin. I told you what I'm gonna do mixing up my resin Oh, I got these these crystal things crystal dazzlers from um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so I Will come back to you after I get the resin mixed up This is five Centimeters or two inches thick, so I'm gonna have to use a deep pour So that's what I'm gonna do I hope you can see that shimmering see when the shimmering alcohol ink is mixed up the shimmer stays all over and it, oh it's such a pretty thing so I'm hoping I don't lose the prettiness once I let me get this because I may need it once I pour it into the mold here oh <laughs> it's like you have ice in a glass and you pour in some type of blue liquid those things float I may have to put something on top of them didn't even think about that And I hope my silicone molds that are in place as spacers stay put and don't let any 
leak around. You know, if I can get it into that little Don't know if it'll go and stay or how much will go in there. We got that one full. Now to figure out how to get those jobbies to stay down. Oh, that went away. Hmm. Let me clean off the back of that mold and I'll set that on top to hold uh, everything in place on one of them. And I gotta figure out what to do on the other. This is my little um, mold for. Ah, um, oh, didn't get that one right there. And I'm still losing my. Hmm. Have a mold over here for a small lighthouse. Okay, that covers that one. What do I do to cover this one? Will that hold it down? Uh, looks so. But I'm trying to get where I can get some more of that resin in there. Why isn't it staying? Where's it going? not going underneath those were a perfect fit and I was hoping that those would do a really good job right there we don't know you have to wait and see hmm what to do with this well that's for me to figure out I'll come back to you after this all cures up had a bit of a problem when these were curing the silicone dam that I put in there leaked this one leaked a little bit this one leaked a lot so I'm not sure exactly where it got under but what I plan on doing is pulling these oh that's good I don't want to pull the whole thing out. Just this damn thing. <laughs> it sounds bad. It sounds like I'm saying a bad word. This silicone dam is all I'm trying to pull out, not use a word in a bad way. Wow. <laughs> See, this is a little corgi mold that I had made sleeping corgis <laughs> oh no
Well, let me see if this one comes out any better. I hear it loosening up. Yeah, that one came out. So that worked pretty well. There's a little bit of where it leaked underneath. See, that was an easy one to get out. This one, hmm. I'll continue working on that. But what I'm thinking about is this color matches this Tulum better. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this... Um, well, it's not going to take very much resin to go in there, but I'm liking the effect of these crystal shards sticking out. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave those on both of them. This one's going to use more, so I thought I would go ahead and use the sea breeze so you'd be able to see it. This one, I think it'll blend in. That will blend in better. So, and I call this metal flake. This is actually... Um, from the tropical glitz glitters so it's not gonna it doesn't weigh as much but so that I don't get the glitter all sinking down I'm gonna use and I know you're supposed to use clear glue but I only have this and it only takes a drop and mixed in with the glitter I don't think but it'll suspend that glitter in place so I've already got resin mixed up oh I gotta show you I had too much resin mixed up for these and so I had this little porpoise mold look at this that's that shimmering alcohol I'll take a picture of it but it that shimmer effect when you when you stir it up into the resin floats and it causes it, it, this isn't doing it justice. When I take some pictures, some stills, you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's just beautiful. Anyway, um, so I'm going to mix my, my glitters in, and I'm going to try and get this thing out, and then I'll be right back. Well, I was able to get most of the stuff out of both of them. <laughs> There's the little corgi that was causing the problems. But you see, so I've got that set into the side. I've already put in seven scoops of the glitter into that three ounces. It may be too much, but I'm thinking glitter is good. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are pretty good healthy scoops. put one drop of glue in each one of these just to help that glitter from it doesn't take much glue so I'm just doing one drop one drop one drop okay and then I just mix this up now when I was removing it did release the seal a little bit on on there you can see the whitish I hope well if we get a little bit of glitter down there it's not going to matter too much but oh, this is pretty glitter I had a mistake of mixing up some glitter and I had four or five different things about this size this Dixie cup thing holds about five ounces and I had it divvied up into all these five different things and I was using some of this metal well using metal flake not the glitter and I mixed it up and I set one over and I started working and all of a sudden I looked out of the corner of my eye 
and there was smoke. I was like, what is that? And that's when I realized something called a flash cure. Oh, man. And I couldn't get it out. It was just... Well, you know what? That little bit of glue never mixed up. Well, I'm hoping the glitter stays floating then. That's a pretty, pretty glitter. If I don't have it, because this one's bigger, if I don't have enough for, with this other one, I may just put a little bit of this glitter in with it. I was going to go up over the edge, back here in with these, this bottom part. may have to mix up a little bit more look at that it's just pouring over the rocks ah, love on the rocks ain't no big surprise Ta -da. such a shame Neil Diamond's uh, not able to perform anymore I mean he's not the youngest of guys but yeah not being able to perform because of physical problem is, is kind of tough. You know, that looks cool going down on that with those rocks left up. See, I need to fill it up to where it'll cover up that tea light. So I may... Well, that glue trick didn't work, so good thing I put enough, a, a lot of uh, glitter in here. Hopefully it'll suspend well. I may have, like I said, I may have to do a little bit more resin, especially with this one, because this can hold more. But I actually like that effect. When I do more, I may lift it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. Oh, this is pretty holographic glitter. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to mix up more. But I definitely like that effect here. But if I put in two, if I put in more, it's going to want to come down here and fill up everything. So I may lean it forward a little bit like that. Since I got this corgi, I can. <laughs> Is that enough? Okay, Corgi's going to help hold that one. I think this one's going to be blocked off enough because this one is was deeper than that one. Anyway, I will mix up some more resin and get back to you. Okay, I got some more mixed up. I already put that one in to there, and I may end up filling it up a little bit more. But we'll see what happens with this side. I got a lot of bubbles hanging out along the side right here. I don't know why that is. That they're just hanging out there instead of floating to the top. 
unless that's the effect of that little bit of glue that I got in there <laughs> even though it didn't mix up Okay, there's some of that coming over. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> a toothpick rolled off the thing over here and started making a mess. bubbles away from the side that would be awesome you pop them off the top but the ones that are hanging on the side will just stay there and this is still coming back I'm thinking if I still have some left over, I may pour it into a little betta fish mold that I have. So this came down a little ways into here and I want it to leave the the rocks I think that's going to have a really cool effect I think so it looks like chunks of ice floating <laughs> Titanic there was an air bubble right there fill it up with some of this glittery stuff because that cured in place from when I had that lighthouse silicone mold on top of it yeah this is cool now slightly different color on this if you look at it from the other side they'll be fine but um Okay, now let me get these little fishy molds over here. I've got two of them. I don't know if I have enough for one or two, but and Siamese fighting. Okay, now on this little fish, he's got an eye, and I have these little tiny eyes, little fish eyes. And I'll put one in that'll match his color. It'll be a blue eye. Well, you can't see it really well, but... And they have 
these are really nice if you're sticking them on a lure because it's got sticky stuff on one side does nothing when I need it to go face down <laughs> so I got it stuck on my glove but what I like to do is put it on a q-tip q-tip on a um, toothpick and then put it into here with a drop of UV resin and then put it down into the mold like so and then get out my UV flashlight stick it into place and this is a translucent silicone mold so I can cure from the other side because what happens a lot of times if you do um, UV resin in a mold that is not translucent it won't cure from one side and you end up pulling it out of the mold and it's all a big sticky mess but these molds were made specifically to be able to use epoxy resin or UV resin so I like that so what I'm gonna do get up and mix that I think I'm going to have enough here for two, which would be fun to do a mix of colors. Do this one with a light blue top, the Tulum, I'm going to have to get another eye though, <laughs> oh here they are and put it into the second one and I still have my UV resin up here so I got it ready to go in and you can't see what I'm doing because I don't have my camera wide enough but if I had it wide enough you would see the mess I have on my desktop so I'm not showing you that <laughs> not gonna show you my mess okay that eye is in place the eyes have it ah. let's get it Now I may have to go longer with the UV light when I pull it out, but at least it will get that little whale out the way, or dolphin. You know what, I think I can do the same thing with both of these. lighter blue in this one up here in the top and then the darker blue out here don't want to waste resin it's expensive enough I don't need to lose it and have that lighter color flow into it yeah
and I'm not going to mix up any more. Uh, these both could use a little bit more resin in them, so I may wait till that cures up and then um, put some UV resin on the bottom of it, fix it up, finish it all up. Okay, so I have done what I was going to do here. And I've got quite a few bubbles coming up. No, that's not bubbles. That's the that's the glitter coming up. To, some of the glitter floating up to the top. Because that's not popping at all. But it, it's leaving a texture. Like when I look at it from the side, like it's bubbles, but it's not bubbles. Oh man, that's that's some pretty stuff going on here. How that coming down. Okay, now I just sit and wait for the unmolding. Cool. Pulled out the little betta fish. I backed them with some uh, clear UV resin because they needed a little bit more, but they came out really pretty. See how that tail has the dark blue around the outside and the light blue, the lighter blue here. This one's, whee, this one's a little easier to see very cool mold. I put a link to resin rockers because that's where I got them from but they had them on a uh, a sale of we're getting rid of them and they're no longer available but they do have some other molds so I do have the link to resin rockers there <laughs> but um, anyway they're really cute and they have a little frog mold everybody's just seen the the bigger frog. Um, here's the big frog mold and there's the little one so it takes a lot less resin and it's also made so that you can do it with um, um, UV a little overflow apparently. Apparently! I don't know if any of you have ever saw that YouTube kid, little redhead kid comes up. Apparently, I've never been on TV before. <laughs> Just look up, uh, apparently, kid. Oh man, it is a hoot, a hoot and a holler. This is a deep mold. It's going to take a little while for me to get it out. I'm a thinking. Pop that part down. Pop that part down. I just peel this back maybe I can get it that way and we'll see we will see about this okay there's well you can sort of see the crystals in there and we continue an air bubble right down there on the bottom and I never saw it because it was way at the bottom. And voila. Oh that did sink. I'm thinking I like this side better. But you can see the uh, the effect This is definitely sturdy mold, which is nice, because I've seen some where people complain about um, the mold being too flimsy and the walls cave in on the sides, so I'm glad that was not the case with this. I'm try and do this the same way. Peel this back. I'll head that down. Oh, that's a little sharp right there. Oh, I got 
a little piece off the sharp part because <laughs> I don't want to cut myself with it Floating, shimmering stuff in there really is nice looking. I like that. And then we get it up there on the T light part and we twist. And it pops right out. And that had that effect as well. If you're going for super shiny. You can do it that way. If you're wanting the ability to see the rocks, the ice, you go this way. Cool. I like this mold. This was just a try and with these um, large crystals that look like chunks of ice in there. And playing around with one of my favorite colors, blue. So yeah, get some pictures out in the sun with these, with all five of these things, and we'll call it a day. Okay, thank you to my subscribers, people that are constantly encouraging me, maybe pushing a little bit, which is good. I need to be pushed in the right direction every once in a while. So, let me get that little overflow that in the trash can over there okay so thank you subscribers if you're not a subscriber think about it you get to see what I'm doing next it's free nothing to be a subscriber those colors are just very fascinating looking down anyway I'll take some good pictures outside in the Sun since we have some Sun right now and I'll take these little guys out and the, the dolphin and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.